And that's a nice shot through the leg side, pulled away, and it will be a boundary. And the first boundary of the day, and it does go to that man, Azarandani. As Bishnoi comes in again to bowl. Cut away through the offside, goes over the top of point. This could be running away for four. It's racing away, and the man can't catch it. That is another four to Azarandani. Flicked away to the leg side again by Andani, and this could be three boundaries in three balls. Are they going to stop it? It is. Three boundaries in three balls for Andani. This over is just starting to get away from uh, Malta. Fuller, and this is lofted up. Could be an opportunity. Hasn't quite got all of it. And it's taken eventually on the second time of asking. That looks as if it's Ryan Bastian's up down at long off and Kuldeep Gilea. He had a really good day of it yesterday but not able to get a start going this time around. He picks up the man, and it's the first wicket down. Portugal, 19 for one. Okay. And that one will be a nick, and he's gone. And this time, there's no question about it. Afi Karnas, they take shelter just in case. But it's an excellent bit of bowling from Rahman, and he hasn't conceded a run, and he picks up the dangerous wicket of Azar Andani. Little feather through to the keeper, and he goes straight away. Doesn't even wait for that danger of a finger, and he has to go. And it's the second wicket down, Portugal. 22 for two. Oh, this is full up and away and put down. It evades the diving man at backwards point. It was a tough opportunity. It was an outstretched left arm. Yeah, looked like it flew. It flew to his left. He's, he's flown to the left. We, if that's, is that Bastinash? I'm not sure if that's Bastinash. As we see Raman come in for his second over. Oh, this one is a big one and he's given. And it looked pretty dead in front as Machado took a big step across. And Rahman still hasn't conceded a run, but he's picked up two wickets. It is almost a carbon copy of yesterday's dismissal. That step across, and it swings back in, and yeah, he looks... It's difficult to tell from this angle, but yeah, I mean, it looks plumb right in front. So Machado has to make the long walk back. He goes for just one. Continuing then. And this is a full toss, and that'll get three. That'll be four. And well, after not conceding runs for seven or seven or eight deliveries, he's gone for a single and a boundary. Good shot from Saman Gimidi. And this is an edge and put down. It was a tough catch. It was a tough opportunity. A very lucky life for Saman Gimidi. You can just see there. He just takes that quick step to that left. Here is Jerome again. And this is a nice shot, leg side, and that will be. One bounce four, and that's a really elegant cricket shot from Zaib. Two full from Jerome, and he gets punished. Portugal, that slapped leg side, and that'll be six. That's a maximum. Lovely shot from Zaib, and he looks to be getting into the sway of things. And well, if you're out there, can we please have our ball back? Because that's going to be six runs. This is driven nicely, and that looks as if it may have been flat, and it looks as if it might have gone all the way. That's my initial reaction, and once more, Zaib is uh, looking confident at the crease. It... Oh, and this is too wide, down the ground, and that'll be six. It's another six more, and Zaib, he looks as if he could be getting Portugal right back into the mixer here. Lovely shot down the ground, six more. Needs a response, and well, that is the response. Beautiful caught and bold for Sharma. It was firmly struck from Zaib, and... It was almost a replica of the shot previous, but he has to go right back to Sharma. Good catch in the end. And the dangerous Amir Zaib. He goes for a one-way 36, but it's the fourth wicket down. Portugal, 80 for four. Uh, this time flicked and flicked nicely. That'll be four. That race is away. No one's stopping that. And Shazad gets his boundary account underway with a nice flick off the pads. Four. Hasn't really been able to push on. And you know, he's tried to here. It's just popped up and it's gone. And, well, you were asking for it, really, weren't you? Because you were just expecting it to, to happen. He needed to get a move on, needed to get a couple of couple of boundaries away, and he's trying to manipulate and, and turn sort of nothing into something and gets it all wrong, and it pops up, and it's that man. He can't stay out of the game. Fazal Rahman with a pretty simple catch, and it's the fifth wicket to fall. Portugal 100 and two for five. Shazad. Oh, dear, bit of a mix-up. Stoneman gets stranded, and he's gone. And he's run out by his skipper. There was a, a serious bit of yes, no, maybe. And that's been the real downfall for the Portuguese batting side is there seems to be a lack of communication out in the middle. And Fast Omen, he has to go for just one. And it's a run out. And it's the sixth wicket down. Portugal 104 for six. See what happens here off the free hit. Here we go then. A jam on strike. 
And it's up high in the air. It won't go all the way. In fact, it's only just going to get out. Oh, well, he's taken a very good catch. And then <laughs> it's all happening, really. They looked as if they were about to collide. Could have been a very dangerous short pulled leg side. We'll take some cutting off. Roman won't get there, and it's a boundary. Outside edge, and that's going to run away. And that'll be another boundary. This time, Ranasawa getting off the mark. And this is high in the air. Hasn't got all of its cloth. Could be another collision. It won't be. And it is taken safely. Yeah, it's really good work again from safe hands. Amar Sharma, who uh, looks to be bucket hands out in the, on the field at the moment. It's another wicket, though. Ranasawa looking to get on with things. No real surprise, though. And he has to go, though. Caught out in the deep by Sharma. And Portugal. That's their seventh down. 125 for seven. This is fucked. Uh, this is... Firmly struck, and it will be one bounce four. Very nice shot from Chambers. Just look to get that out of the screws more than ever. I need to change things here. Bishnoi continuing then. Oh, and this has gone high in the air. He's got nothing of it. Catching opportunity, and he doesn't drop them. That's a good catch from Darshit Patanka. Saw him with the gloves yesterday, but he's out in the outfield, and that's a really good catch. They had snow on it as it came down from the blue skies here in Gibraltar. And Andrew Ch Anthony Ch Chambers has to go. He goes for seven. Eight wickets down now, Portugal. 135 for eight. He's doing well. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how he gets on here. Uh, and this one on the back foot. And he's gone straight away. And, well, it was either going to be six or out, really, wasn't it, from Janai Khan. And Bishnoi, well, that's his fourth wicket in the innings. And at the moment, Portugal looking as if they're going to slump to a disappointing end to this innings. But a nice straight full delivery from Bishnoi. Jino Khan trying to swing from the hip. And it doesn't really get much more plum than that. And it's the ninth wicket down. Portugal running the risk of being bowled out. 135 for nine. We've all, all of a sudden got a potential hat-trick on our, on our hands here. Bishnoi, he's on a hat-trick. And it's a good delivery, but a confident shot from the number 11 batsman and Anjiam Shazad just strolls down the middle says thank you very much I will take over Bishnoi trying to pick up his fifth yeah, leg side this will be one bounce for no one out there and well don't bowl there because that's A not where your field is and B that's where Najam Shazad just loves to disrupt bowlers and that's a, another boundary does put you out of your kind of rhythm a little bit yeah, well, we'll tell you what, it's shots like that, that's why, because that's gone all the way. That's another six. And that's exactly why they didn't take the single, because Shazad stand and deliver stuff from the Portuguese skipper. Front leg out of the way and swing from the hip. And it's going to be six more. Lovely shot, six runs. Yeah, really good shot again. It just Again, the game getting away. It's a full toss. It's on the legs. It's away. That's a beautiful shot from Shazad and once more racing towards his potential half century because that's another boundary, four more. That's been their downfall. Here we go then, trying to turn it round and again, it'll fall short of that half century, trying to scoop it round the corner. No one at fine leg, but Roman gets his Yorker right in there and he picks up his third wicket and it's the final wicket to go. Portugal bowled out then for 162 off of 19.5 overs. Clipped away around the corner by Patanga. This is going to race away to the boundary. Fantastic shot from him. And that will be four runs to the score. Punched away into the leg side. And that is ferociously hit through the mid-wicket region. And that will be another four to Patanka. Here is Khan, though. Uh, well, this has gone high up in the air. Don't know if it's quite got the legs. And it's dropped. It gets put down and it's going to run away for four as well. Anthony Chambers is the man out there. And, well, he was caught by a deep catch out in the middle, but unfortunately wasn't able to replicate it this, uh, this time himself. And it's a, a boundary and uh, it's a poor bit of fielding for Portugal. Oh, this is a full beamer and he's missed the straight one. And Mugau will have to go and can't. Well, he didn't pick up a delivery in his first first over but to end his second one he's managed to get the breakthrough and Fanya Mugal will have to go he goes for 
for just seven. And Malta lose their first wicket, 26 for one after three. This could be out. It's gone high. Yeah. Safe hands underneath it. Number 94, that is Amir Zaib. I thought for a minute that he just put that down, just the way he kind of went down onto one knee. It's a simple catch. Good catch, though. And uh, good another wicket. First wicket for Najam Shazad, uh, 27 for two. Shazad then looking to close this out. That's a lovely shot. That's an elegant drive from Bastians. And well, almost out of nowhere, just holds the pose. High front elbow. And that gets pumped back over Shazad's head for four. Slap, slapped hard, that's four. And well, Bastians has really shown elements of power. And just like that, he's gone. And there's a bit of a send off as well as Stoneman gets the breakthrough. Skiddy action, and it's a skiddy result. It gets through the defense of Niraj Khanna, and Stoneman gets his wicket. And it's the third wicket down. Malta crumbling, 39 for three. Sarwar starts his bowling spell, and that's a lovely shot. This could be racing away to the boundary. Can they cut it off? No, nearly gets down to it, but just doesn't quite do it. That'll be four runs. Creeping up, though. Sarwar comes back, and this is a nice shot. Flick round the corner. Nippo won't quite get there. That's going to be another four. Really nice shot. Sharma proving to be a crucial element coming in in the middle order. That's another boundary to him, and uh, that's four more. And Stoneman gets his man, and that's his second, and it's a very, very good delivery. He gets him right on the top of middle and off, and, and Sharma looks to, to try and play a bit of an interesting shot, has to be said, but gets it all wrong. That front leg comes out of the way and just isn't really a ball you want to be trying to cut. He goes, and, well, Sharma's little fight back has come to an end. He goes for 17. Malta, 61 for four. Oh, this one is gone. He won't get in. All oh, the chances. Stoneman, elation for the young Portuguese man as he picks up his third, the second in the over. And Afi Khan, he can't cash in. He goes for a duck. And Malta struggling once more. 62 for five. And down the ground, firmly struck, four all. Lovely shot. It's gone down the ground. This could be out. Oh, it's just over the head. It was nearly a stunner. We saw him yesterday, Sawa, take two wonderful catches on the boundary. This one has n just gone over his fingertips. How close was this to being raked in by Sawa? That's it. Uh, he continues. This is driven nicely from Prasad. That's going to be another boundary. That's a shot of the day for me so far. This is high in the air opportunity. The skipper's underneath it. He puts it down. I think he's taken some damage as well. He looks at it straight away. That doesn't look good. Yeah, he's taken damage straight away. He's going to have to come off. Should be okay. Up in the air. This has gone higher than it's gone longer. And put down. Faf Stoneman puts down a pretty simple catch, if all truth be told. Well, it could be Prasath. 18 or 16 being quiet. Needs to go. And he won't, he will go, he will go back to the dugout as Nippo has waited two overs to get his first wicket here today, but he does get the breakthrough and it's the dangerous Vadum Prasath, he has to go. And well now, there's a lot of pressure on one man and he's possibly an injured man, but Prasath goes and it's the seventh wicket down, correction, sixth wicket, 108 for six. And there's boom, boom, Basel, and he goes straight away into the offside and Chambers... And it's four. He's had a bad day at the officer's chambers. Boom, oh, boom, wow. Basil. And he's got he's six runs. Oh, no. Azarandani, what have you done? He's held the catch and he's just forgotten where he is. He's such a talented cricketer. He's normally right on it in the field. He takes the catch, but he steps over, loses his balance, and he goes... Down the ground, six runs. And well, that's what Bastianz has been waiting for. He's been waiting for that full delivery. We saw it earlier on and it was, it was against Shazad that he pumped him over his head and he's gone. The first time was so nice. Bastianz 41 off 36, short leg side. That'll be one bounce four. And Bastianz 
We, I said at the start of this over, didn't I, Joe? I said he needs to turn around and get that strike rate up, and he's that's another lovely shot. That's four more. George swings, leg side up in the air. Six runs, hits the fence, clatters back into the field of play. And well, we called it, didn't we, Joe? We said George was going to take a liking, gets that front leg out of the way, swings from the hip, six runs. Outside edge, gone. Big, big wicket. Bastians goes. He's tried to hold, hang around for Malta. He's done a superb job of keeping them in this game. But a wild swipe across the line against Sawa. And he picks up his first wicket in the game. Good catch from Kuldeep Gulia. But Bastians has to go for a well-made 46. Outside. Boom, boom, Basil. Down the ground. Opportunity taken. And it's Miguel Machado who takes the catch. And, well, that might just be the game there. Boom, boom, Basil trying to go downtown. Gets it all wrong. Doesn't get the elevation he was looking for. Goes flat and hard. And he picks out Miguel Machado, who is not going to put that down. And, well, even though there's only four outside, he still picked out one of them. And he goes. It's 142 for eight. As Nippo gets a wicket. And it's another one. And you just felt as soon as boom, boom, Basil went, that this game was going to peter to a, an interesting end, and that does seem to be the case. Wild swipe across the line from Rahman, and he just wasn't able to get anything on it. And he goes for a, a two-ball duck, and Malta now nine down, 142 for nine. Here we go, then, last over. Down the ground, and he's gone. Excellent catch, Suman Gimedi makes a name for himself, comes back really he got a bit of tap with his bowling. Jason Jerome trying to get on with things and trying to get themselves back into the game. But it wasn't meant to be. And credit where credit's due. Portugal just the level above that they needed to be. And Ranasawa, he picks up his second in the game. But that is all she wrote. Malta, they are the losers here. Commiserations, but Portugal, well-deserved winners. They are the victors here. And, uh, well, they're your winners by 17 runs. And it's been a very, very enjoyable game of cricket.